We've trained hard. We've fought harder. We've overcome our obstacles. We've become the champion. And now it's time to prove that we're going to stay the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Channel 84 proudly brings to you the return of Punch-Out! for the Nintendo Wii! <laughs> Hello guys, how you doing? My name is Jeremy and you're watching Channel 84 Winnipeg. This is part 8 of Punch-Out! for the Nintendo Wii. In the last episode, the main event, we took on Mr. Sandman and won the WVBA World Heavyweight Championship. As you can see, we have won all three titles and now it's time to defend the golden title, the World Championship, against any and all challengers. So let's get straight into the action. And there he is, Golden Gloves himself, Little Mac, the reigning WVBA champion. Enjoy while it lasts, Mac, because who knows, with the challenges you've got to face, your title rate might not last all long, because our opponents are going to really bring the pain. Yes, even Glass Joe. As you can see, having lost 100 matches, he's got headgear now. And truth be told, if you lose 100 matches, you can also gain headgear for yourself. But I'm not that bad of a player, and I'm not that reckless to even do so. So I doubt you'll see me wearing the headgear. Anyway, let's jump right into the first title defense of title defense mode. Glass Joe can actually be a little tricky this time around. He can throw fake outs, and his headgear makes it impossible for you to land straight headshots. So if you lose to this guy, it would be totally understandable. But still, there is no way we should lose Glass Joe. Is there? Take that! Get a quick start. And loop him into a pattern where he can knock off his helmet. Keep racking up stars. And this will be an easy knockdown for you. There are times he can... Oh, shit. Oops, lost my pattern there. Stay down this time! <laughs> I can't believe I lost that pattern, but still. As soon as he gets up, be on your toes because he'll throw his first fake out of the match. You can always tell by the way he crouches. And land the extra body shot. Gotcha! One, two, three, four. And we got him in the loop again. Boom! And down you go again. All right, not even a minute in, we've got him knocked down twice. One, One more, and we're two, done. Three, four, five. Come on. Oh, he's not done yet. Oh shit. Oh. Hell, I got. Shit. Gotcha! One, two, three, four, start, and... Kaboom! One, two, three, four, once again! Down you go! Woohoo! Eat it and smile, chump! Ladies and gentlemen, still the WVBA champion, Little Mac! You're the champ, son. Let's celebrate. I'm gonna buy you a giant chocolate bar. That actually sounds pretty damn good right about now, Douglas. I might take you up on that. <laughs> yep, as you can see, Glass Joe may have a little bit of extra difficulty on his side, but he is still nothing we can't handle. I think this time around, since the fighters are gonna be a little more difficult, I'm gonna stick to a one-fighter basis. Who knows? The reason being is because each fighter has his own strengths and weaknesses, and we get to see some cutscenes guaranteed down the road. So I'm going to call the video right now. Thank you very much for watching, and in the next episode, we refight Von Kaiser. This is Jeremy Prouty from Channel 84 Winnipeg, signing off. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next bout. Stay hungry, my friends.